And we begin tonight with a story that has a lot of people asking a lot of questions. State prison inmates scamming hundreds of thousands of dollars out of military members. News 19's Lauren Thomas sifted through the indictments today. She joins us now with the details. Lauren, what did you find? Well, five indictments came down against inmates and the people they allegedly worked with in this sextortion ring. U.S. Attorney Sherry Lydon held a press conference earlier today to lay out the indictments in the investigation, which they are calling Operation Surprise Party. So far, 15 people have been arrested, but investigators believe 250 more may have been involved. Of those 15, five are inmates. They are Rakeem Spivey, Wendell Wilkins, Jimmy Dunbar Jr., David Dempsey, and Antoine Lamar Matthews. They all face charges of conspiracy to commit wire fraud, extortion, and money laundering. The indictments explain that these inmates would use smartphones that were smuggled into the prisons to join internet dating websites and posed as young women who were seeking romantic relationships. They targeted young men in all branches of the military. They would then send nude photos of young women that they got off the internet to the military members, requesting nude photos and personal information in return. After the photos were exchanged, that's when the inmates would pose as the fathers of the young women they were claiming to be, explaining to the military member that his daughter was a minor, threatening to notify law enforcement unless military members paid money. Now, the inmates would use MoneyGram, PayPal, Western Union, and Walmart to receive the money and would have friends and family members go to pick it up. Overall, $156,928 was obtained by these inmates and their accomplices, but investigators believe that $560,000 total dollars was obtained between 2015 and 2018. Now, investigators say this is just the first phase of Operation Surprise Party. They expect to make more arrests in the future. In the studio, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX.